Hi, I welcome you all to this session on creating holiday calendar. We are going to use the Tico SCL skull for this. So, in the previous uh, videos, we have created uh, enterprise structure. Under enterprise structure, we have created company code that is called name of the company and the personal areas, locations we, will, we have created and also personal sub areas, various departments we have also created. Besides that, as part of organization structure also, as part of uh, uh, like uh, personal structure, uh, employee group, employee subgroup we have created. So, as part of this uh, organization structure, we have created this uh, organization unit, job and positions we have also created, okay. And we have this, so they, all these things we have created. Uh, in this essence, we will create this holiday calendar. Holiday calendar is uh, very much significant for this, uh, for basically for a co company because it is, uh, it is helpful basically in pay payroll calculation and many other purposes it is also used. So, what we will do in this session, we will create holiday calendar number one. Number two, we will create a holiday calendar ID where we will link this calendar details of holidays okay, with this ID. Then what we will do, we will assign this calendar ID to personal areas and uh, public uh, to basically to personal areas that we have created. Okay. So for this what is uh, important, we have to use the T code that is called SCAL. Okay. So, then uh, this is the menu that uh, we will get SAP calendar main menu. Okay. So, there are uh, like public holidays, okay. then we will create holiday calendars, like you, you, we will create ID, okay. then we will uh, see this also. So, uh, we will start, we will select public holiday, okay. public holiday. Oh, it is logged. You can see the transaction is currently logged by an user. So, what we have to do? We have to create a new sessions because we are not able to perform the transactions. We have to create uh, new sessions. Then we have to write SM12. Okay. So, we have to remove this user. Okay. Then we have to go to the list. Okay. So, there, see, these, these are actually troubling. So, what we will do? We will select all and we will delete. Okay, delete log entry. So, yes. So, now delete log entry has been. So, we can refresh after this. Nothing is there. I think we can go ahead now. So, th this may happen sometimes. Uh, then we can go for creating a log entry. So, we will go back one second. Sorry. So, we, this is actually, we have to select this public holidays, then we have to go for this change. So, then we can go for create, see, <coughs> there are number of uh, options that we have been given, like uh, public holiday, when we uh, discuss about, uh, we think of holiday, there can be fixed date. What are the fixed date? Like take for example, uh, that uh, uh, in India, that Republic Day. Independence Day, like Republic Day falls on uh, that uh, 20, 26 Jan. Okay. Similarly, uh, if you uh, uh, think of this Independence Day, it will come on like August 15. Okay. So, these are the fixed date. Okay. So, there are also another that options we have been given that is called floating public holidays like take for example, the Sahara take for example, Ganesh Saturthi take for example in India. So, there are some of the holidays, there is no fixed date for the holidays comes. Okay. So, where we need to customize it. Okay. Maybe in 2022, suppose the Sahara comes on October 20, October 20, but next year it may be October 12. So, there actually this will come under this when we customize this. Okay. So, we will start with fixed date and actually this with a fixed day from date distance to Easter's and distance Easter Sunday, these are not, there is not uh, uh, 
uh, much applications. So, mo most of the scenario will fall under this with fixed state and floating public holidays. We will start uh, that fixed state first, okay. like take for example, we will create this. See, so this is the screen that popped up here, fixed states. So, what are the options? Public day definitions, we will see. So, suppose take for example, we will create uh, one public day like take, suppose take for example, we will create a republic day 26, okay, day number 26, you can see, okay, month is, what is the month? It is Jan, okay, means 0, 01, you can see, so, so 26 January is the republic day. So, here it is not guaranteed it because why will because it will may not fall it may fall on saturday or uh, saturday or sunday these days it may fall it it may so therefore not guaranteed it is okay so this short criteria what is this short short criteria okay. so this short criteria basically when you talk of this short criteria it is used for filtering purposes okay okay it is used for filtering purposes Okay. So, we will uh, in future in or subsequently we will see this. Suppose we will like S A A 1. Suppose take for S A 1. So, we have given the code for this is S A 1. This is this is the because we will sort with this S A 1. Okay. Then or we can see uh, okay let us go with this. Then, uh, so is it a, is, is it related to any religion? If it is related to any religion, it is we can write else we can keep it black. So you see here the pu public holidays. So uh, uh, pu public holidays types of public holidays, not a public holidays means zero. Ordinary public holidays. What is a one ordinary public holidays? Ordinary public holidays. Ordinary public holidays is normally it's a full day holidays. Okay. Full days holidays. If it is a full day holiday, that we can uh, assign one. If it is half day, like take for example in Christmas Eve, take for example in um, some of the states like uh, before Ganesh Chaturthi in Maharashtra, they uh, give it uh, like if like half day holidays before that it is given. So we can give this. This is a customer specific public holidays. Maybe it is very much. It is something related to the customer specific okay so we can select this uh, one okay then short so it is a republic day a re -p republic day it, it is just the abbreviations we are using so we can write here like um, republic day in full okay so let me write my name as saho okay. i can write is that that so because i am creating because in company it is not required to write since it's a learning system i writing that because so many republic day may appear which republic day i am creating so i have to so i can click here okay so transporting the holiday and factory calendar so we can click here okay so a message has popped up now okay public holiday was created okay so, a public holiday we have been able to create. So, we can also continue to create like uh, if we want to create a few more holidays, we can also create up to that like that the process. Okay. So, then we will create one holiday ID. We will go back. So, now we will see if we want to see. Uh, uh, so we can see here. Sorry. Sort filter let's say one we will see what what we have created so this is the day actually we have created republic day sahu republic day sa1 i have created this i can filter just what how did i filter just i just displayed okay short key and filter okay if i wrote sa1 sorry one so this is the short key for filtering purpose i have created this is what i have created okay then what we will do we will create a, a like a, one floating holidays 
public holidays we are creating one floating holiday will create okay. so we can go for new see floating holiday okay. floating holiday will create so now fixed date we have created republic day so now we will create one floating holidays then we can go for this okay so suppose take for example we will create one like 2000 we will create a calendar for uh, just a second let me check fixed day just a minute so what is the fixed display display I have created okay So, uh, public holidays, then we will go for uh, creating this, okay, fixed floating calendar. So, year 2022 will create, okay, because we are creating this 20 for 22. Then, suppose we will create another month that is called Dasara, we will create like uh, Dasara falls in the month of uh, October. Then suppose we will write the Sarah falls on 12, okay. date 12. Okay. Then what is the sort criteria? This has to be same because we will filter later on and assign this SA1. Then religion, it is one Hindu festival. We can click on Hindu, okay, Hindu festival. Then it is a full day holiday, you can see, okay, it is a full day holiday. Then uh, the Sarah we can write. Okay, the Sarah okay. public, or we can like we can make one abbreviations here. The Sarah test, okay. Then we can write here the Sarah India, okay. So we can insert that, okay. After that, what we will do, we will create a this okay once again this transporting holidays or factory calendar it appears okay so we can click on continue there is a it seems there is server issues So now holiday was entered. We can see with this what is this? We are using the short key S A one. We'll see. Yes, two days are created now. You see, one is Republic Day, another is S A that is another is the sir. So now we'll go back. So now we have created two public holidays. One is a fixed day, another is a floating day. So now we will next step what we will do, we will prepare, we will create one holiday calendar, then we will assign this public holiday to this public or holidays, holiday calendar to this holidays to this holiday calendar. Okay. We can go for um, change. Okay. So uh, there are so many are there we can see we have to create one ID okay so we have to select one ID that is not available unique ID this is like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so like this we will see there are like uh, so I will create one ID now suppose take for example with it, I think SA is not available this is normally two digits code s s a e s s a s out there of it is there okay so i will create another type for example sick like uh, sick is not available okay c s it is see if it is available see, okay. 
no sick is not available so we will create this with this sick ok so now we will create change ok then we will go for we will go for change no no we will go for create we will go for create ok yes so uh, we will write here let us note it so what is the id that we are going to create id we are going to create is called ck ok we will we are going to create ck ok so we will write here like calendar calendar holidays ok s a h o i am you is creating this so valid from the year we can write this like 2022 22 to 2 to 5 years normally we can write we can uh, extend the date like 10 year 15 or 20 year or like 9999 but it's a learning system there will be a lot of load on this therefore we are not going to so we'll make it up to 2017 okay sorry 2027 okay then what we'll do we'll assign holidays okay. you can see so now we can see uh, what is the key that we have created we have created the key that is called SA1. So, we will create on the key, we will filter. Okay. <coughs> like, or we can go for this directly. filter set ok mm. so we will sort key so what is the sort key we have created s a 1 so we have seen two public holidays we have created so now uh, recently we have created dasara ok and another is so this this two what we will do under this key the Sarah India we have created and uh, Republic Day these two we have created. So then what we need to do we have to now assign public holidays. Okay. Yes. So now we can select this two. So what is the validity for this? You see, because the Sara doesn't fall every year on the particular date. Therefore, what we'll do, we'll put this as 2022, and this is also we have to put this as 2000. Sorry, 2022. Here we'll put it like 2000. 22 and up to 5 years we will put like 2027 2027 okay. so we will put this ok put this then uh, we can actually we can put it in actually when we work in the real server we can put it as 9999 because this is not going to change so I can write to it is the message it is two public holidays uh, we are assigned so then we can click on this okay then we can save it okay so public holiday calendar was saved okay. so this is how we can create the public that uh, public holiday calendar and also we can create the uh, calendar ID okay. then we can go back 
we can save it yes it has been saved then we can go back okay then what we need to do we have to select our calendar id what is the calendar id that we have done uh, let us see that i think is say s a calendar id we have created ck sorry ck we have created yes so we have to select here then we have to go for calendar see so uh, uh, for 2012 we have created this two holidays one is the sera another is like republic day okay and uh, this is this was for 2022 only and for 2000 because we have set the calendar for 5 years so only 1111 days have come okay this one day actually this uh, one day republic day falls on sunday that this tells about this no surprise because this is uh, sometimes it is a, a subject to company policy and processes suppose sometimes when a holiday comes on um, a, a weekends like saturday and sunday they may go for compensating this okay so this may be useful for that okay. then we will create a new session okay so we can see this we can click here okay. you see just so number of holidays if when we clicked on this uh, so 12 october 2022 is the dasara and republic day falls on this it is written here okay so then we can go for creating a new session so we will create a new session now what we will do we will assign this holiday id and the holidays to the uh, that is uh, person, personal areas and uh, this uh, work schedule so then what we will do we will create uh, we will use the code sm30 okay sm30 so sm30 uh, uh, it is this is the screen that appears that edit table view okay uh, initial screens because this 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 i have already used therefore by default it is coming it is a technical round questions actually okay so which screen that we are using to assign calendar to ps and psa public holiday calendar okay. this is the table like you know, uh, v underscore zero zero one p underscore m okay then we can go for um, no restriction is fine then we can go for maintain okay so what is the country here so we are uh, assigning for this using the country india we can select this then we can continue with this okay then these are the you can see so uh, personal areas so we have already created some of the personal areas we can see like personal areas code or codes are there in previous videos like personal areas it is mumbai for mu99 then delhi for uh, dl99 then bangalore for bl99 and hyderabad for this like that we have created so we will use this like bl99 okay bl99 bl99 okay so now we can go for positions personal area like bl99 okay so, so bl dl99 i think it is deleted or what we'll mm -hmm. dl99 dl99 yes yes this is so here we can uh, write what we should write we should write the calendar id that we have created so what is the calendar id calendar id we have created like c k and c k okay so then uh, we have created now this 
uh, for this particular locations we are assigning this calendar id so we can write this then we can go for save okay one tr number has been generated i have already generated one therefore it is creating this holiday calendar cks that i am creating so with this i can go for this okay so now this has been created okay so this is how actually we can create this holiday calendar we can create one hol holiday uh, that uh, calendar id then we can assign this uh, called the, the, the holiday id to this personal areas and public holiday calendars okay. so so similar way if we want to that assign to like other ids like like hy9901 I can also allow this HY and like HY99. It was the manufacturing, so I can write also CK and I can go for save. Okay. So there is also another like let us see some others are there like uh, uh, RD like it is HY99 DL9 Mumbai 99 also here. We can also create like sorry. We can create this for Mumbai 99. We can go for this, like uh, okay. We can go for save, okay. Then we can go back for all the regions. We can create actually, okay. This is how actually we can create this. We can go for display, uh, okay. India. So, all these things we can personal areas we can see. Suppose whatever uh, that we have created the, these are these uh, dl99 i have created now holidays for this okay suppose take for example in companies like take for example suppose uh, it may decide company may decide that uh, particular holiday that we are creating holiday id that we are creating or a holiday we are creating a particular department is not entitled for that day maybe the, the, there is some urgent work and they will be compensated later okay for all other holidays for that actually we need to customize okay we need to customize all these things so in different holiday ids have to be created okay accordingly uh, that company should uh, that uh, use those holiday uh, holiday ids and also assign those holiday id to the pa and personal areas and that pws okay thank you thank you for the sessions today thank you very much